Hello ladies and gentlemen. Yes, I went to Bovington and it was a real amazing weekend. First of all, I met the mighty Jingles. Yeah, big plus. We had a real good chat. And if you are a fan of uh, tanks or military vehicles, give it a try. Go and visit the Bovington Tank Museum or better, visit the Tanks Fest next year. I spent one and a half days at Bovington and really it never got boring. You can see so many things and vehicles and you can talk to so many people, for example in the uh, big reenactment area. And of course you have the tank arena where the uh, main action takes place. You have modern main battle tanks, you have tanks from the uh, Second World War and also what amazes me the most, they have still tanks from the first, first World War in running condition. And it's not only a static display, they are moving around this arena. I will show you these action scenes in one of the upcoming videos, so stay tuned. But first of all I wanted to show you some tank walkarounds. And this is an overview of the first exhibition in the Tank Museum. And this is called The Tank Story and depicts the, yeah, the story of tanks from 1915 to the late 20th century. Directly in front of us is the Centurion. In the middle there is the Churchill. And far away in the background is the Panther. And these tanks are all available in World of Tanks at the moment. And there in the corner of the exhibition hall there is the new World Gaming Education Center. And this is the last remaining Mark II tank, British uh, tank built in 1916-1917. And here we have Little Willy. This was the first ever built tank and it was the prototype for the upcoming uh, tanks produced in 1916 and 17 and 18. And this is a real icon. This is the FT-17. It marks a big step ahead in tank development because it was the first tank which had the gun in a fully rotating turret. And this is a British Meteor Mark A, a very successful design of 1917. Interesting fact, they were used until the 1930s by the Russians and by Japan. And this is a Vikas Mark E, which was designed in 1928. The Russians copied it and named it the T-26, which is also available in World of Tanks at the moment. This is the Medium Mark II. It was built in the late 1920s and was phased out in 1939, just before the Second World War began. And here we have the cruiser Mark III, also known as A13 Mark I. And here comes the first German tank, the Panzer II. Gun is the 2 cm auto cannon. This thing is the French Char B1 Bis. It has a 75mm howitzer in the hull and a 47mm gun in a turret.
And this is a Liberty engine, which powered the uh, first cruiser tanks and also an early version of the Cromwell. It delivers 340 horsepower. And here comes the infantry tank Mark II, or better known as Matilda, and right next to it an M3 Lee. 75mm howitzer in the hull and 37mm in the turret. But to be correct, this is the Matilda Mark II and I can also show you the Matilda Mark I and that was a really tiny tank. I will maybe show it in one of the later videos. And you see, not much workspace in there. And here we have the Cruiser Mark 8, or better known as the Cromwell. A very good British design, very fast, could do up to 64 kilometers per hour, uh, but they normally uh, limited the speed to 51 kilometers per hour, and a very good 75 millimeter gun. Around 4,000 of these were built in total. Have a quick look at the Sherman. And then we go on to the Churchill Crocodile, a Mark VII Churchill, uh, fitted with a flamethrower. And the trailer you can see uh, contained the fuel for the flamethrower. And this beauty is the Centurion. And again, more than 4,400 were built between 1946 and 1962. And believe it or not, these are still in service in South Africa. Although heavily modified, of course. And uh, they upgunned it and upgraded the engine, etc., etc. And we have another look at the Churchill Crocodile. And what you see uh, at the hull, the strange looking device right there, uh, that is the flame projector at a range between 120 and 150 yards. And this thing looks very odd. Behind that so-called floating screen is a Sherman. This was specially designed for the D-Day. Landing crafts launched them uh, two miles offshore. They had a small propeller and they simply swam to the uh, beaches. Oh yeah, and here he is, the Panther. It is said to be the best tank of the Second World War. The turret and the impressive 75mm gun. And this ends my first video, my first tank walk around of Bovington 2013. Next video I can maybe uh, upload it tomorrow. So thanks for watching and bye bye.